Hi guys, Dean again. Um, I've just said on the previous video, I'm here to go through the latest, or well, the first batch of 7 inch um, reissues, which have all been lovingly um, remastered, possibly. Um, certainly repackaged um, in keeping with the original packaging. So um, I'll basically initially just go through those, just show you um, the artwork and so forth, and we'll have a little chat. So firstly, we've got Running Free. So as we said, same artwork, it's the same label as the original as well. Um, and again, I've um, I listened. I haven't listened to all of these, to be fair. Um, I've listened to a couple of them, and um, compared to the originals, again, I think. Um, I think they suffer from the same issues as the albums, the original um, singles from the first album sound great, the others not as good but still good, so um, but yeah, so that was running free. Got um, back there as well. So we've got Sanctuary, which was um, a non-album track. Again, same as um, Winning Free label, so as per the original. Um, yeah, Sanctuary um, only appeared, I think, on the Canadian Harvest pressing. Which I, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure why they didn't actually put it on the UK version, but. Um, but yeah, so again, fantastic sounding, um, just great. Woman in uniform, and again, same label. So, nice and straightforward. Purgatory, this is the single off uh, Killers. Um, and I mean, it's um, again same label as the uh, originals, same label as the first three singles. Twilight Zone, and again, as per. So, yeah, I mean you. Uh, get the idea how it's going now. Under the hills. So you can see me all the artwork is exactly the same as the originals. All the way down to the labels. So I mean they've really gone to town making sure that you know the quality is there, the reproduction is there. And the faithfulness to the original labels, I mean, they are the same as the original UK pressing labels. Um, well, I've got this one, and I think, as per the albums, um, the colour reproduction is superb. Um, they're in nice sort of card sleeves, so unlike the original paper sleeves, these are going to be a hell of a lot more durable. Um, they're going to last a lot longer, so um, if anybody missed out first time on the uh, 7 inches, it's such a great little package to have. A um, couple of downsides. A price, I mean I've seen them going anywhere upwards of probably around, well the cheapest I've seen them I think is probably around six six fifty, um, going up to... I think some guy was charging like nine pounds each for them on eBay, which is just crazy. I mean, that's you know not sure, not far short of an album price. Um, I got a good deal at the local record shop because literally I've just gone through, and I think I said before I'm buying two of everything, so I'm keeping. Well, the idea was to keep one open copy for me to play and one sealed copy. Um, but for some reason, which leads me on to my second point, the seven-inch singles. And not sealed in the UK. 
Um, so they literally arrive like this, um, which one opens them up to damage, um, get all sort of crap inside, you know, during the shipping process and what have you. And B, it's not sealed, you know, if somebody buys a new record and they'd be all more single, they'd like it sealed, especially if you want to keep um, you know, an archivable copy of. Um, and my record ship were very good, sort of saying that they turned up not sealed, we're assuming they're all going to be like this. Um, on the future batches, do you still want them? And I said, yeah, that's fine, I'll just keep them, put them straight in the sleeves and away they go, so they'll they'll be archived away anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, I saw a picture on one of the forums, I think it was the Steve Hoffman one, I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with that. If not, I'll leave a link actually on the bottom of this video. Um, and a few people have posted from the US the pictures on there. Um, with the guys sealed, nice little sticker on there saying first time um, in the US, I think, on you know, for certain seven inches as well. So, if America can do it, why are we not getting them in the, uh, the UK? And I'm assuming the rest of Europe is the same as well. Um, I'm not sure whether it's down to the distribution side of things or whether it's parlor phone, I really don't know. But if anybody knows the answer to that one, I'd be uh, greatly appreciative because I'm assuming the rest are going to be the same, they're all going to be open. I mean, there's no damage to them. Um, some paper dust and things like that on them, but you'll get that on the um, other ones that are sealed anyway. Um, as far as sound quality goes, like I said, pretty much the same as what the uh, the album is. Um, again, I'm assuming they're all cut from the same you know, master, so it's no surprise there. Um, but it's an overall package. You really can't can't grumble. I mean, I've got most of these, most of the original ones on seven inch anyway, so. Um, did a couple of comparisons on the ones that I've listened to, um, but yeah, and I say the ones from the first album are definitely better than the ones from Killers and from Number the Beast. But yeah, I'm mean, looking forward. I haven't got all the seven inches prime made at all, so this is a great way for myself and for anybody else that's into the band that really wants, you know, the singles. Um, they did some great B sides over the years. Um, you know, they did some B-sides that really should have been on albums. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will agree. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, it's come at last. So, you know, we've got a um, nice little package there of some fantastic seven inches that um, otherwise you'd be scouring record fairs and eBay for them, paying probably highly inflated prices for them. So, so yeah. That's the uh, the first batch of seven inches. As I said in the previous video, next batch is due next week, so uh, I should hopefully have a video, possibly probably about around a week from there if I manage to get to listen to them um, in that time. Um, and I'll probably do the same as what I've done for these, just split the albums up and the singles up anyway, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. There's um, you know, when we concentrate on the RBA and stuff, there's nothing else really coming through the door at the moment. There's a couple of things towards the end of the month, I think, um, that will be coming out, so I'll show those when they come through. Um, but other than that, that's it. So thanks very much. See you soon.